Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, we are going to look at the AGUI protocol, the agent user interaction protocol that helps you, you know, to bring agents into front end applications. You know, the, we are moving towards a world which is more, you know, on agentic web driven. Okay, uh, if you see a lot of these big companies, they are bringing up their own uh, browsers, their own applications, which are really based on agents. Know, on the UI and UX side and that's why we have seen a new protocol that's called AGUI agent user interaction and we're going to combine this AGUI with ADK uh, framework from Google right so let's jump in and see how we can use this so if you look at here on my screen this is what we see AGUI on github it's of course open source you can use this uh, you can see it's an MIT license, so you can use it, make money out of it if you want to commercialize this. If you look at here, it says AGUI is an open, lightweight, event-based protocol that standardizes how AI agents connect to user-facing applications. Now, after the rise of, you know, agentic AI ecosystem, we have seen a lot of protocols coming up, you know, MCP, uh, then A2A protocol from Google, and then, uh, of course, ACP protocol again, and then uh, we've seen the payment protocol recently uh, as well. And now we see AGUI, user interaction protocol, this is how it's looked like on a very high level if you see this let's say you have your own application and then we have an ag ui protocol in between and you can connect with uh, all of these frameworks that you see here that helps you orchestrate right agents now i'm already running it so let's see how it works right so if you look at this i have something on localhost 3000 right uh, it says this is a demonstrative page but it could be anything you want. Like let's say, right, you are a front-end developer or you are a full-stack developer, right, or an engineer, um, and you want to kind of let agent interact with your UI, right? Let's say you want to change a color of a button or a section or a div card, or uh, you know, you want to play something automatically, you want to download or take some actions that basically triggers an event, right? Uh, you can use these protocols on top of it to build uh, similar use cases on the front-end side. So for example, uh, I tried it here. You can see it says set the theme to orange, right? Let's try out the same thing, except orange. We're gonna say okay, change it to purple. Uh, set the theme theme to purple, and you can see it changes the theme to purple. And I'm interacting with an agent now. I don't have to go and change these things in my uh, front end code. For example, if I'm writing that in React or whatnot, right? Uh, we can just use it from here. Now. I also do one more thing here, like let's say, uh, I'll say, okay, write a proverb about AI. Uh, I want to show something on the uh, interface. You can see it here, it will write it over here and it says, a well-trained AI is a wise companion, uh, but an untrained one is a fool's errand. Uh, and you can see it over here. Fantastic, right? So this is built using, of course, uh, ADK middleware, right? So this is a sample code that you see I've been using. This is where we have been using the backend. It's called ADK middleware, Proverbs agent, right? That combines with ADEY. Uh, very interesting. I think I'm using Gemini for this. I'll try this out as well. Uh, let me just try this out. Get if that works. I'm not sure about it. Get the weather. You can see it brings up a card. Now let's say you want to show that card within your own EY. You can also do that. Let's say get the weather in SF. The weather in San Francisco is sunny. Now. Everything is happening on the front end side, uh, and this is this is very interesting because we are moving towards an agentic UI, right? Uh, era where everything will be controlled or will be, uh, you know, used or triggered, and all the tasks will be done by AI agents, even on the user interfaces. Now, this is where we have this AGUI protocol that you can go go through it. You can also open their uh, website. Let me just open it. You can see it says AGUI overview. This is how it works. These are the building blocks. They also have a lot of things on their roadmap uh, that will be coming up. You can do front-end tool calling. You just saw how we make a couple of tool calls like weathers and whatnot, right? You can also do that. Uh, this is how it works. You can see agent protocol stack. You have your agents, A2A agents, MCP, AGY, everything you can use it, single unified uh, format. Now, they have given a demo. It's by Copilot Kitty. It's called AGUI Demo Versal dot apps deployed on Versal. Uh, you can see it says, "Hello, I am Haiku Agent. I can create a haiku based on a recent news topic. Just tell me the subject. I will turn into poetry." That's what the Haiku Agent does. Uh, maybe I'll just say 
write a technology haiku okay something like that we'll see what happens here you can see it says searching internet for recent information a very good ux uh, that you see here very minimal uh, you can see verify the haiku with haiku master completed technology blooms and here it gives you something here is a haiku on technology technology blooms evolving endlessly on power without bounds okay cool so this is a demo that you can go through it now if you want to build on top of it so we have adui and then we have adk agent development kit from google right that you see uh, over here i have created this uh, notion template that we can go through it and we can uh, you know work adk if you don't know is an uh, open source toolkit for building agents that can perform a lot of tasks for you okay uh, not by charge chat but also uh, a difficult part of engineering that we do behind it right so if you look at adk it provides multi-step planning tooling state management you can also manage just memory pretty well right and now this is the thing that i wanted to show you connecting the front end via agui so the agui i talked about i just shown you you know uh, that helps you interact with your you know with the uis uh it focuses on user facing agents not on the background agents and can be generalized you know to any front end and back end using a middleware okay and whatever client integration you have uh, that you can use it now if you look at here this is how it works let's say you have a front end application okay an ui state and then you have a client and middleware that is basically nothing but your ad ui right and in the back end agent you can have anything you can have an mcp tool you can have you know a to a agents or you can have in crew ai lang graph lang chain whatever that's back end agents connect to the front end app through an az ui so if you look at here i have given this how to run it okay so this is fine uh, th this is a simple i'll give this notion template i'll publish this and give it to you so you can try it out let's go back to code here a little bit okay so what you have to do of course pretty few things that we have you can also go through their documentation if you are you know you, you are interested to this is simple to set up uh, not rocket science you know you just have to do npx if you want to do or i'll just give you this template you can again go through it now this is how the code looks like when you just run the a command that i will give you in the video description this is how it looks like if you look at this i named it a demo project you can name it anything you want it has couple of things one is your agent agent folder that is nothing but a fast api based backend and then you have your nextjs based front end completely uh, that you have now if you look at agent.py uh, pretty straightforward we are using google adk so if you look at here we have google adk imports and then we get up the bring up the llm agent and then here we have the agui adk that we are using uh, over here so that is fine just keep going below you'll find out a few things like how to get the response you know events and whatnot here we have a state state class you can see it says list of proverbs being written that keeps in the state okay uh, then we have set proverbs uh, function you can see over here uh, set the list of proverbs using the provided new list uh, it put this into a state object that is fine and if there's any error, it brings up get weather. You can see the weather thing is also there. Uh, then weather and on before agent. Now come down. Let's a bit come down, scroll down. This is all fine. This is you can see the agent over here. So we are using Gemini 2.5 Flash. Gemini 2.5 Flash can also access web. You can see Proverbs agent. Uh, this is the name of the agent called Proverbs agent. Uh, we are using LLM agent ADK uh, you know, module to use this. We have an instruction. This is how the instruction has been written, not a but a very comprehensive prompt template. Then we have a model that we are using. You scroll down and you can see it can use just two tools. One is get weather, other is set proverbs. One is for proverbs, one is for weather. And you can see before agent callback, before model callback, and after model callback. Those are all callbacks that we have defined on top of this uh, function. And then we create ADK middleware. You can see it over. This is very important. We create the ADK middleware and you can bring your own agents into it if you are using ADK or if you are using anything else. Let's say if you are using ADK, you will have you will build multiple tools, not only weather tools or a proverbs tools. You can bind that over here in the Python list that you see. Tools, uh, it's a list of items, set proverbs and get weather, which is basically nothing but the tools. And then we have some timeout and then we have some using memory and app name, blah, blah, blah. And then initialize the fast API app here and just add the ADK endpoint. Very simple, right? And then just run it you can see you have to set up your google api key get it from gemini studio or google ai studio 
very simple agent.py and now that has been used these are all requirements that we install and that has been used in this app and if you go to you can see look at the page.tsx file which is in typescript you can find out everything here it says pop-up assistant you can change this completely like for example if you come here you can change this right it's called pop-up assistant uh, it also shows you how to install it says hi there you are chatting with an agent this agent comes with a few tools blah 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 for example you can try front-end tools as you interact with the agent, you will see the UI update in real time to reflect the agent state, tools, and progress. Now, this is a simple example. You can build your own examples if you want. Now, I'll give you this code uh, through GitHub repository. You can try it out. But this is fantastic the way we are moving, guys. Uh, I also have something on my YouTube channel already. I'll show you that. Just give me a moment. I have uh, a very simple browser that I built in Rag, uh, built in Rust, actually, Tauri. We use Tauri framework to build it. Very similar thing it it also does. Okay, what I have shown you here. So this does the very similar thing. If you look at here, right, AI browser assistant. I'll just just go a little uh, ahead here and show you that things actually. Uh, let me just go. Where can I show you? Yeah, here. Now, if I look at this, right, this and this used to work. It's more like a Cider that I created for the browser assistant. You know, you can do uh, a lot of things with this. Also, very similar concept, but I'm not. I was not using AGUI, Azure User, User Interaction Protocol, which is a new protocol. So AGUI is a new protocol, and that time we didn't have that protocol to use it, so we could not use it, guys. Right now, you, you can go through it. You can do a lot of things. Uh, you can bring MCP also, so it also supports MCP. So that is fantastic uh, and makes your life easy, right? And you can find it out over here. That's all. I don't want to create a very lengthy video. What I want you to do, go and take this code, try it out, and let me know what you are building on top of it. I'll also give you this Notion uh, starter boilerplate, so you can just immediately run a few commands and set up this project and try it out uh, in your own machine. And then uh, let us know the feedback. So if you have any questions, thoughts, or feedbacks, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find all the information on channel banner or channel about us. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, guys, please subscribe the channel. That motivates me to create more such videos in near future. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.